This year is going to be a great one for us vaporizer folks. It might be a great year for non-vaporizer folks as well, but I don't really care about you guys. Today we are going to go over the top five electric rigs as we do every year. I am super excited to get into this one today, but before we do, the e-rigs on this list are judged by various criteria, including vapor quality, portability, manufacturing materials, and price. The team and I usually go over these devices in more individual reviews, and we're gonna link to those every single time we talk about one of these devices in the top right corner. So you can just click on that link to check out the detailed review of the device, but make sure to come back and see how they stack up against each other. If you wanna go check out the individual performance specs, ratings, reviews, pictures, vape shots of all of these different products, just Google best e-rigs or electric rigs and T-Vape should come up in the top three results and you can begin your research there. We're coming in at number five with the Dr. Dabber XS, which is one of the smaller units in this category. This is a huge plus for people who want to bring their unit around with them. You can treat your vaporizer right by taking it out to dinner and a movie. You are not limited to the standard Netflix and chill. While size is not the primary focus for most when choosing these types of units, it has proven to be quite popular. Dr. Dabber, contrary to popular belief, does not have a medical degree in dabbing, but rather was one of the first companies to make induction heaters work in e-rigs, and for that, we commend them. The induction heated switch e-rig was good and also huge, so it captured a lot of the consumers who wanted to primarily use an e-rig at home, and they generally liked it. The XS is an addition to their portfolio that is trying to appeal more to users that are on the go. They also have a wax pen called the Stella, and basically the XS is a love child between the powerful switch e-rig and the Stella wax pen. The unit is pretty well built considering its price. Although it's primarily made of plastic, the rubberized finish gives it a great grip. It uses a bottom heated quartz heating chamber, which works well, but it's not as wide as some of the other units we ranked higher on the list. It also comes with a splash proof glass bubbler, which does an okay job of cooling the vapor down, but I'm not a really big fan of the extra work needed to fill the glass piece. It comes with its own funnel that's a bit inconvenient to use, so the cool look of the bubbler comes with the downside of inconvenience. Every advantage has a disadvantage like Batman, who has the great detective skills, great fighting skills, the extreme wealth, the cool car, but it comes with the downside that he's impotent. Bet you thought I was gonna talk about his dead parents. Well, I got ya. The Dr. Dabber SX also comes with a 900 milliamp battery, which is on the small side, but it was expected for the size of this device. And just remember, it's not the size that counts. Wait, no, it is. It is absolutely the size that counts. Size of the battery is what counts. The battery can be charged using USB-C, which is definitely needed and greatly appreciated. When it comes to the customization of your settings, the SX comes with four different temperature settings, which gives you a decent range, and it's very easy to control due to its single button operation. Overall, being one of the more compact units is a great option if you're looking for more portability in an e-rig or more vapor quality in a wax pen. Cool look of the Dr. Dabber XS and its reasonable price point is the reason why it made our list this season. But if you're looking for more of the best of both worlds options, you're gonna have to wait for number one or two on our list. At number four, we have an e-rig that has been around the block, the Core 2.1. Known as a budget-friendly option among e-rigs, the Core 2.1 is very popular on Reddit. Not so much Instagram, because let's face it, this thing isn't sexy enough for Facebook, let alone Instagram. Look, it's got a nice personality. It's got a 3150 mAh battery and it fully charges in under two hours, which is pretty fast for such a big battery. This electric rig comes with a non-rebuildable 3D heating chamber, which is a pretty big deal for this price point. Look, that's a lot of words that I said right there, but 3D just indicates that all of the walls on the heating chamber heat up instead of just the bottom plate. And rebuildable means that once the chamber reaches its life cycle, you have to change it out for a new one. These chambers are relatively inexpensive and they last quite a while, so it's not gonna be something that you have to care about too much. You just have to understand that everything comes with a price, except for love, unless you meet my ex-wife. 
That bitch will take you to the cleaners. I want my dog back, Susan. The Core 2.1 is said to be one of the most functional and inexpensive e-rig options. And as you can see, it has a very functional but unflattering bubbler. Personally, I found that with the Core 2.1, the vapor quality was a bit above average. The unit is manufactured by a Chinese company, and the warranty that comes with it is issued by the store that you get it from. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you buy it from a trusted source. The defect rates in this unit are higher than other units that are on the list. I find that the Core 2.1 is a great entry point for these types of devices. You can dip your toe in, test the water, and then gradually upgrade to more extensive involved units and really expand your arsenal of gadgets. Overall, this unit gets the job done at a bargain price, which is why it takes the number four spot on this list. And that reminds me, I think I also get the job done at a bargain price. And all I ask for is that you subscribe to our channel and like this video. Oh, and also I ask that you join me in this really great business opportunity. You see, I've already signed up nine people. You could be my 10th. Then you just sign up 10 people and we just- Hi, I've been instructed by the people at T-Vape that what I was just explaining is what's called a pyramid scheme and I'm not allowed to use the T-Vape channel for my crooked ideas. You know what? Well, I'm sorry, but I put every last cent in this thing, and if it doesn't pay off, I'm out on the street. I don't know why I used air quotes there. That's literally what's going to happen to me. Entering the lowest spot on the official podium, we have a device that has been around for quite a while, but thanks to a recent update, it has managed to maintain its spot in the higher tier of e-rigs. Puffco is known for making vaporizers of all kinds, but personally, I think that their electric rigs are their best units. The new Puffco Peak Pro, as the name suggests, is an update to the Puffco Peak Pro, which was an update to the Puffco Peak, which was an update to the, no, I'm kidding, of course, that was the first one. The Puffco Peak was Puffco's big bang moment, but it makes you stop and think, if Puffco created the Puffco Peak, who created Puffco? I'm just gonna go, Hit the Puffco Peak Pro there for a bit and think about that until my mind collapses. Or you can just leave a comment down here with the CEO of Puffco's YouTube channel in it and maybe he'll respond to you. I'm told he's quite a nice guy, unless he's busy working on the new, new Puffco Peak Pro. This unit is very well known, but is different from the original unit. And this one is considered premium, which comes with a hefty price tag. Both the Peak Pro and the new Peak Pro work pretty well, and they come with somewhat 3D chambers, although not fully 3D chambers, which when I did a review of the new Puffco Peak Pro, I talked about in greater detail. You can check that out by clicking up here. The Puffco chambers are side heated, but don't worry, they know their stuff. And the Puffco provides some of the most flavorful vapor of anything on this list. The thickest vapor, however, goes to the number one and two spots, but the flavor profile on the Puffco Peak Pro is outstanding. While Puffco doesn't specifically state the MAH of its battery, it lasts for about 40 heat cycles on a full charge, which puts it somewhere in the mid range. The unit is super sleek and sexy, but that comes with the downside of having less battery power than the top two units on this list. Puffco also included an app for this unit, which makes controlling your sessions a lot easier if you have a knack for technology. Unless you're like Craig, who has no idea how to do anything technological at all. What the fuck? You still use a Motorola Razor, Craig. Having an app makes the entire experience feel superior and advanced. And although it might seem a little inconvenient to have to bust out your smartphone and connect it every time you want to change a setting, the app itself is very easy to use and intuitive. As the most expensive unit on the list, the new Puffco Peak Pro is best for people who want the sleekest and most flavor expressed hits. The heat calibration is outstanding, and one could easily argue that this unit is the best performer overall on this list. It also comes with a ton of different glass upgrades and side gadgets, but all of those are a pretty penny. The new Puffco Peak Pro is for those who want refined optionality and are not price sensitive. As an example, the tinted glass that comes standard with the unit that sits at the top of this list 
will cost you an additional $100 for the new Puffco Peak Pro. So stay tuned as we get to the top of the list so we'll give you more options to pick from. The new version of this device comes with extra features and is positioned in the premium price range of e-rigs, right between the number one device on this list and the new Peak Pro. The Carta 2 comes with an app just like the new Puffco Peak Pro does, but it also has a digital display and everything you can do on the app, you can do right on the device. I really like that they included an app, but didn't make the app necessary to access all of the options like the new Puffco did. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like app only options? Or are you more of a meat and potatoes type user who wants everything built into the device itself? Let me know in the comments below. Either way, the Carta 2 works, and very well at that. Its vapor quality is amazing, and second only to the new Puffco Peak Pro. It now has an IntelliCore heating element that is ceramic coated, and it also comes with completely 3D heating technology. This e-rig comes with precise temperature control and is easily adjustable thanks to the digital display that I just mentioned. The body of the device is made of a rubberized plastic, which gives a nice grip to the device, but takes away from the overall quality and feel when you're holding it. The Carta 2 has a bubbler that's pretty wide, as you can see, which makes it function slightly better, but at the trade-off of design. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and since the Carta 2 is a little more affordable, it makes her a little more approachable. I don't know why I've made these devices women. I also don't know why I find them sexy. What I do know is that I'm going to be stopping by my therapist's office on the way home because we've not even begun to scratch the surface of the issues that I have. And I have to be honest, I find it very troubling. The Carta 2 is best suited for people who have a decent budget and favor functionality over the quality of materials. It delivers great hits and it works well compared to the most expensive units on the market. Overall, it's a solid unit with the most technologically feature-rich setup and it has a great balance between flavor profile and vapor density. Finally, at number one on the list, we have the moment you've all been waiting for. Except for those of you who skipped right to this point in the video. You didn't wait at all. Without further ado, we have the German-engineered Utilion 8 e-rig. We've given you the luxury performance options, the functional, the portable, the value options, and now we have the top dog the premium value option. It's relatively new to the e-rig market, but the Utilion 5, a hugely popular wax pen, has immediately given traction to the U8 for those value-oriented customers who are chasing big clouds. The U8 is more affordable than the Carta 2 or the new Puffco Peak Pro, but it still manages to provide outstanding results thanks to its burst hit 3D heating technology. I've explained how these work already, but the Utilion 8 comes with a little something special right out of the box to bring your sessions to the next level. Terp pearls. Many of you are probably already familiar with these small sphere-like pieces that are placed directly into the chamber. They help to agitate concentrates during the hit by spinning around the chamber, and this helps to provide more flavorful, consistent vapor. It's also really fun to say. Terp pearls. The Utilion 8 electric dab rig also comes with a tinted bubbler, which makes gunk less noticeable and also makes it appear more stylish. It's kind of like wearing sunglasses when you're hungover. On the flip side, the U8 does not come with precise temperature control like some of the other units on this list, but that drawback comes with an upside, which is it makes it more affordable than most of the other units on this list. It also makes the replaceable 3D heating chamber much more affordable compared to other units that have a temperature sensor. It still offers outstanding vapor density with four preset temperature settings. The place where this drawback is most noticeable is the flavor profile in successive sessions. You can manage this drawback quite easily though by simply letting the unit cool after a couple of back-to-back -back sessions. When it comes to vapor consistency, the Puffco, which is almost twice as expensive, and the Carta 2, which is also a lot more expensive, are straight up just better. However, you have to consider that the U8 minimizes the existence of silicone in the vapor path, which will provide better flavor overall. The U8 also comes with a replaceable fabric grip, which is similar to what you would see in portable speakers. 
the quality feel will rival that of some of the most premium devices. It comes with a multifunctional zirconia tool, which also doubles as a carb cap and creates the turbulence to make those turp pearls spin. The carb cap also functions as a wax tool, so you can just scoop up your concentrates and place them right into the heating chamber, which means you're not gonna have to handle sticky wax or gunk up your desk. These features are all unique to the U8, and they're topped off with the best-in-class 3150 MAH battery. Overall, the U8 delivers many innovative features at a mid-range price point and manages to stay top-notch in performance. This device is geared towards average to advanced concentrate users who want to get the most out of their extracts but don't want to break the bank while they do it. So that's going to do it today for our top five electric dab rigs ranking. I really hope that you guys found this video informative and helpful and I hope your research goes well and you find a device that makes you truly happy. And don't forget to check out our best e-rig ranking page where almost all available units on the market are ranked and you can get more detailed specs, reviews, pictures, vape shots, all of that stuff that I mentioned earlier. So go and check that out. And as always, I am Nick from T-Vape. Keep vaping.